Hey, another set. Um, engineering economy problems. Calculate the benefit cost ratio for a highway project with the following benefits and costs. The project project's life is 40 years, interest is 10%. Then uh, project's right of way is worth 5 million in 40 years. Right of way. Construction uh minigay yung construction costs, including acquiring of right of way, 20 million. Annual maintenance, repaving every eight years, annual values of lives uh, saved, that's one uh, per year, one million. Time savings for commercial traffic, 1.25 billion. Binigay yan, no? Pero actually, itong part niyan, to evaluate mo yan using your calculator, that's 1.25 billion. No? Same as here. Evaluate that one that gives that gives us 1 million. Yan lang yung ibig sabihin dyan. What is benefit cost ratio? So, yung benefit cost ratio, that's the ratio of the present worth of net benefits to uh, to the present worth of the cost. Ganun yan. That's the benefit cost ratio. So, bali, kung titingnan kasi natin dito, Let's say the benefits here, i-plot natin above, for 40 years, you have, uh, ito yung benefits natin. Itong part dito, construction cost, annual maintenance, and repaving, they are all costs. Yung benefits natin is annual values of life save. Di ba benefits yan? You have 1 million per year. Time savings, it's still a benefit, 1.25 million a year. And time savings for computer, you have another 1 million a year. So, per year siya. So, the total benefit is 1 million plus 1.25 billion plus 1 million. That's equivalent to 3.25 billion per year. Kailangan natin yan i-convert to present worth. Yeah? Converting that one to present worth. And that's, that can be done using annuity formula. Yung cost naman, i-plot natin below sa ating um, line. Number line natin, no? Or cash flow. So, meron kang construction cost includes acquiring right way. 20 million. Annual maintenance is 350,000. Annual for 40 years. Of course, yung construction cost natin nasa, isa, nasa present time yan. So, ito yung uh, 350,000. Or that's 0.35 in terms of billion lang dito. And repaving every 8 years. So every 8 years until the 40th year. Uh, 3 million until the 40th year. Kinat lang natin kasi hindi siya magkakasya. And uh, in-include nyo pa ito, no? The project's right of way is worth 5 million per year. Right of way. That means meron kang uh, para less gastos or less cost yet. It is assume, assumed to be um, subtracted to the total cost at, at the end of 40 years. 5 million in 40 years. So, dapat i-deduct natin yan dito sa pera at the 40 years. Yan yung ibig niyang sabihin dyan. Okay? Kaya yung araw ko is going upward. So, convert lang natin each of the benefits. These are our our benefits. Ito naman yung cost. Pinat natin siya below. Unahin ko sa benefits. So, since annual yan lahat, gamitin natin yung annuity formula. Just use the annuity formula. Annual benefits, 1 plus I raised to N. 1 plus I raised to N times I. Or, or by shortcut, using calculator summation function. Annual benefits over 1 plus I raised to X. From M here to N here. So, since nag-start tayo sa first year until 40th year, so 1 until 40 lang yan. Okay, using the calculator. Yung annual benefits natin, yeah, gi add natin yung lahat. 1 million plus 1.25 billion plus 1 million. Over 1 plus I, interest is 10% or 0 0.1 raised to X. 
from first year until 40th year. That's 31.78 million. Okay, in terms of million na lang tayo. Now, for the present worth of the cost, ito yung medyo challenging. So, yung 20 million nasa present time yan, wala tayong gagalawin sa 20 million as is siya. Yung 35.35 million or 350,000, annual yan. So, we will use annuity formula ulit to convert that one at the present time. I-move backward natin sila. So, that is by using for the summation ulit. 0.35 million over 1 plus I raised to X for 40 years. Ito namang repaving every 8 years. We have still, ano, this is still, ano, um, equal series payment. But this time, hindi na siya annual. Meron siyang interval of time, which is every 8 years. Yung shortcut dito, we can still use the summation. Summation of 3 million. Since every 8 years over 1 plus I, gawin natin siyang 8x. Ganun yung gagawin natin basta. Hindi siya, uh, meron siyang time interval, equal series payment. So, from first 8 year until the 5th 8 year, or N over 8, na 40 over 8. Bakit ganun sir? Kasi, when X is 1, then the exponent is 8. Inatrust lang natin yung pera dyan to the present time. Imagine when X is 2, then that becomes 16. So, at the 16th year, inatrust natin yung 3 million at the present time. Until the 5th, 8th year. 40 over 8 is 5th and 8th year. Inatrust natin to the present time. Ginawa natin summation para hindi tayo isa-isang mag-calculate nila. Masyadong mahaba pag isa-isa. So, pala, this is the shortcut. Gusto natin, i-diretso yung buong pera. Okay? Then, 5 million, that's um, right of way. So, that should be deducted to the, to, to the, to the cost. Na? Since pataas yan, minus uh, 5 million. So, that's a lump sum of money. Iatras natin to the present time. Over 1 plus I raised to 40. Hindi na siya summation na. Isang pera lang yan. Inatras lang natin siya to the present time. So, evaluating that one, that's 25.88 million dollars. So, using the benefit cost ratio formula, that's 1.228 or 1.23 uh, pesos. Okay? So, uh, ilang ulit na rin itong lumabas sa board exam, no? Ulit-ulit yung problems niya. Same as here, number 41. Engineering economy pa rin. Actually, medyo may... Uh, kalaliman yung problem na to no? involving transportation engineering siya. Anyway, data over the last 5 years indicate that for each fatality, there are 40 non-fatal injury accidents which cost 15,000 pesos. Then meron 300 property damage which cost 2,000 pesos. Then, what is the break-even value of statistical life? Uh, it is called BSL. Medyo deeper yung topic na yan, no? I don't know bakit binigay niya to. Needed to justify a highway project if interest is 8%. The death rate on a particular three-lane road is 8 million per year. That rate, 8 million per uh, per 100 million vehicle miles yeah, per year. That's the rate per 100 million vehicle miles. Adding a lane uh, would reduce 5 per 100 million. Okay. Now, and other accidents would be reduced proportionately. The lane would cost 1.5 million. Isang lane, 1.5 million per mile to be to build. Taga isang mile. Then, annual maintenance would be 3% of the first cost. Assume that the lane would last 40 years. The road carries 10,000 vehicles per day. Use reduction factor of 3 over 8 for all accidents. So, what is the break-even statistical lives BSL? That's, um, yung tanong dyan is actually a money. Yeah? Break-even money. 
So, binigay yung ating rate per 100 million vehicle mile. So, 8. So, yung formula dyan sa transportation is N number of accidents times 100 million vehicle mile over ADT, average daily traffic, time times length of, ano, in miles, length of the road in miles. We are considering here one mile only, no? per mile. So, kunin muna natin yung number of accidents. Yung ADT natin, binanggit dito, 10,000 vehicles per day. Okay? Average daily traffic. Uh, assumption natin is per year. We'll use per year analysis. Kahit may binigay dyan na 5 years, ha? per year. Kasi we will uh, compare this one to the annual cost. Okay? 365 day in a year. Makuha natin is 0 0.292 per mile. That's the number of accidents per year. In every mile per year. Okay? Number of accidents. Now, yung ibig sabihin niya dito is break-even value dapat to, to needed to justify a highway project. Dapat yung gastos natin, uh, yung effective annual cost, yung cost natin must be equal to the total cost of all of the accidents. Yan yung ibig niyang sabihin dito. Yeah? So, kukunin natin yung effective annual cost. So, meron kang 1.5 million uh, okay, the lane would cost 1.5 million per mile to build. So that 1.5 million, that's the cost at the present time. We want to convert that one annually. That is by using annuity formula. EAC is annual cost. So 1.5 million times 1 plus I raised to N for 40 years, that's I over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Asan yung galing, sir? Kasi yung present worth is A times 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over 1 plus I raised to N times I. Diba ito yung formula? So itong 1.5 million, that's the present value. Gusto kasi natin magagawin siyang annual. Effective annual. Rearranging that one, cross multiply natin dito kaya naging ganito siya rin cross multiply natin dito kaya na divide natin siya that is the effective annual for this cost pero meron ka pang annual maintenance that's 3% of the first cost no? so the annual maintenance is 3% of the first cost this is annual na lahat ng ito are annual cost so the effective annual cost is 0 0.1708 million. Ginawa ko siya million ha. That's million. Or 170.8 thousand dollars. This is per year kasi annual yan. Uh, ngayon, etong gastos natin every year, dapat equal siya sa buong gastos natin for the uh, fatality. Binanggit dito that you have 49 fatal injury which cost $15,000. So, 40 times 15K. Okay? Meron ka pang 300. 300 times 2K. Then, plus, uh, ito yung um, hinahanap, break-even value of statistical life, VSL. So, kung this is non-fatal, a property damage. Ito naman, VSL. It's quite deep. Deep talaga na topic, no? Pero, ganito yan dapat isolve. VSL. But, we need to apply 3.8 reduction factor. So, times 3.8. Okay? Times, i-multiply pa natin ng uh, number of accidents per mile. We need to multiply that one. Kasi, ito sila is parang at uh, the total mile siya, no? na total mile. Multiply natin ng number of accidents sa multiplier niya. Kumbaga. Then, you will have VSL. Again, kung tatanungin nyo ako, uh, ilang beses na rin ito sa board exam, no? Medyo may kahirapan talaga ito.